Pontiac Lake, Michigan. A cameraman rolls video as a fisherman waits for a bite. Then, in the distance, something captures their attention. Take that, man. Tape it. Tape it. That guy's going down, man. Did you get that? Yes. An airplane descends rapidly toward the lake. While its engine sputters, the pilot of the four-person aircraft struggles to maintain altitude. 50 yards from the shore, the airplane slams into the water. We gotta go check it out. We gotta go see if there's uh, if the guy's okay. Fortunately, the plane rests in just four feet of water. But as the men approach the aircraft, a new danger surfaces. Hey, man, Mark, we got fuel all over the place, man. Is that guy knocked out? I don't know, but he's not looking too right. Hey, dude, you got a life jacket? Yeah. You need a life jacket? Despite the danger, bystanders wade into the water to rescue the three injured men. Come here, my feet. My back. Two of the passengers are cleared from the wreckage, but the pilot remains trapped. Why don't you just wait right there then, if you're okay, until, until uh, ambulance and everything's fine. Why don't you just sit in the cage? Finally, a paramedic arrives. Not knowing the extent of his injuries, he stabilizes the pilot. Then, he carefully brings him to shore. It turns out that a clogged valve caused a blockage of fuel to the engine, ultimately leading to the crash. Although the men aboard suffered serious injuries, they did make a full recovery. As for the aircraft, it was deemed a $70,000 total loss.